So how did I go from this to this in just eight weeks? Well, I'm about to tell you, so let's get into it. But before we do, Anyway, so a few weeks ago, I posted this eight week transformation picture on my Instagram and a lot of people were curious to see how I managed to lose 20 pounds in such a short period of time. And so instead of like writing everything down, I just decided to make an entire separate video about this. So I think this will be very informative to a lot of people. Some of you, this may be just super common knowledge, common sense, but to others, you may learn something new. So today I'm gonna show you exactly how I lost 20 pounds in just eight weeks. So in order for this story to make sense, we gotta go back a couple months to see where I came from. So on March 1st, which was like the peak of my bulk, like the heaviest I've been probably ever, I was weighing at 163 point something pounds. And looking back at pictures now, I mean, I look pretty chunky. Like I look pretty thick, pretty, Honestly, like, I look pretty fat, let's be honest here. And so I decided I want to do a bodybuilding show. And so what that requires of me is to lose a lot of weight and get as shredded as I possibly can. So I started this prep on March 1st, which was when I took that first picture. And the second picture you see now was taken on May 1st, eight weeks later. So obviously when you're starting out at such a high body fat percentage and at such a kind of like big weight, the first couple of weeks of dieting are going to be relatively easy for you. So the first couple of weeks, you'll start to notice your weight go down pretty quickly because when you're so big, like you're holding onto a lot of water weight and you're just holding onto a lot of just like access, just stuff. And so once you start dropping down your calories or do a bit more cardio or just clean up your diet in general, you start to see your weight go down pretty quickly. And so what I did, I decreased my calories by 500. So in my situation, I was eating 4,000 calories at the peak of my bulk, which to me is like a lot of food. And so basically going into prep, I just dropped down my calories by 500. So from 4,000 calories to 3,500 calories, which was like a 500 calorie deficit for me. And so by simply just dropping my calories by that much, I started seeing some pretty good fat loss for the first couple of weeks. So the first and biggest thing I did was to just be in a caloric deficit. And now if you guys have no idea what your calories are, how many calories you need to maintain your weight, how many calories you need to gain weight or lose weight, I'm gonna give you guys a very simple kind of like rule of thumb to keep in mind. So if you've never tracked your calories before or macros, I highly recommend for just one week and one week only to literally track every single food you eat. So either on an app like MyFitnessPal, which is something that I use, or just on like a pen and paper, write down every single thing you eat, make sure you add the quantities as well and make sure you kind of know roughly how many calories each food has. Do that for about a week and then on top of that i want you to jump on the scale and weigh yourself and so after a week if you see a downward trend in your weight you know that you're in a caloric deficit which means you're eating less calories than you burn on a weekly average if however you see your weight staying the same or maintaining you know that you're at a caloric maintenance which means you're eating exactly what you need in order to maintain your weight lastly if you see your weight going up you know you're in a caloric surplus which means you're eating more calories than you burn every single day and so let's say for example you were eating roughly 3,000 calories every single day when you were tracking your food and you maintain your weight. Now you know that those calories, 3000 calories, are your maintenance calories, which means again, you need 3000 calories to simply just maintain your weight. So if your goal is to lose weight, all you gotta do now is just subtract a few hundred calories from that initial maintenance calories and boom, you're in a deficit. So again, if your maintenance calories is at 3000 calories and you wanna lose weight, just drop your calories by 250 to 2750 calories and you'll slowly start to see your weight go off. On top of that, if you're a big eater like I am, instead of eating less calories, you can also burn more calories aka do more cardio which is something that I've been doing as well so every single day I've just made sure that, that I've stayed active during the day getting my steps and then also doing some additional cardio on top of that just to burn those extra few calories so that I don't have to restrict myself of eating more calories Man, I love coffee. Anyway, so that's what I did for the first couple of weeks and I saw some pretty good fat loss for those few weeks. However, there comes a point in time where your weight starts to plateau because your body will get used to whatever you're giving it. So if you've been losing weight at 2,750 calories, slowly starting to lose weight, but then you slowly start to plateau and then a couple of weeks later, you're like not even losing weight anymore that's when you gotta make changes. So in my situation, I was eating 4,000 calories on my bulk. I dropped them down to 3,500 calories. I started to see some pretty good progress, did some cardio as well, but then after a couple of weeks, I started to plateau and I didn't lose weight anymore. So what did I do? I decreased my calories again by 3,500 calories to 3,000 calories and I added a bit more cardio to my routine. And by simply doing that, 
I started losing weight again. So it's very simple guys. Make sure you create a caloric deficit by either eating less food or burning more calories or doing a combination of both. Write it out as long as you can until you start to plateau. Once you do plateau, you gotta make some changes. So you can either eat less food or burn more calories or do a combination of both. And honestly, depending on how your body reacts to that, that should literally do the trick for most people. Just make sure you're in a caloric deficit. Make sure you do some cardio as well, just so you can eat a bit more food. And then once you plateau, make changes, once you plateau again, make more changes, etc, etc, etc. It's that simple guys, there's no like magical pill, there's no magical formula, there's nothing magical I did here, literally caloric deficit, that's it. And now obviously during this process I was still sleeping extremely well, I was getting like 7 to 9 hours of sleep each night, which is very underrated guys. Whether your goal is to gain muscle or lose body fat, sleep is very important. And then secondly, obviously I made sure I trained six to seven times per week as well. And now obviously when it comes to your training, especially in a deficit or on a cut, your strength could possibly start to diminish and go down because you simply don't have enough fuel to like fuel your workouts. But I did try to still get stronger in the gym every single day, AKA progressive overload. Just because you're cutting or trying to lose weight, that's no excuse for you not to push yourself in the gym. You should continue to push yourself hard, if not harder in a gym when you're trying to lose weight because you really want to hold on to all that hard earned muscle you put on during your bulk. So again, when you're cutting down, don't try to like lift lighter weights or like do lighter work. Try to keep lifting heavy and try to keep getting stronger as well because again, you want to preserve and hold on to all that muscle mass you have. And that's basically it guys. Again, number one, caloric deficit. That's like the most important part. Make sure you nail down your diet. Make sure you actually know what you're putting into your body so that it's very easy for you to make adjustments if and when you do plateau. So again, make sure you track your food. Make sure you track your macros because once you do, it is so easy to start making changes once you do start to plateau or once you start not seeing the changes you want. So again, number one is diet caloric deficit. Secondly, make sure you keep training hard. You want to hold on to all your muscle mass. So again, train as hard as you can. And then thirdly, sleep. Guys, sleep is so underrated, but make sure you get enough sleep in each and every night. Aim for about seven to nine hours each night. That'll just help you recover and just feel better the next day because obviously when you're in a caloric deficit, you're not eating as much food as you would like. I mean, you still want to feel energized during the day and so sleep is going to help tremendously with that. And so that's it guys. So I know this video was a bit different than my other videos and I know some of what I just said made a lot of sense to you guys, but hopefully to others you learned something and got something out of this video. If you did get something out of this video, please be sure to go give this video a thumbs up. I would highly appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. We can turn the whole world around. I'm in the backseat really trying to hold it down. And if you up now from the lost and found and get your hands up high and your shoulders down and sit.